My name's Johnny. Hey, how's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back at again with the Madden video for you guys. So, this is your first time checking out one of my videos. First time you even come to the channel, man. Make sure you guys drop a like. And also, don't get subscribed to the channel, man. We're on the road to 10K. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe, man. It's free. It only takes one second. For that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. Well, you know what? Actually, before we get into this, because I already know I'm probably going to get something in the comment section about it. As you guys can see, I got a do rag on. Don't worry about it. Getting a little hot here in Florida, so I had to get my hair braided down. So, hence the do rag. But, with that aside, let's go ahead and get into this. Now, as you guys can see on our top players, right? We got that boy Max Crosby. Now, here's the thing, right? I know I haven't been able to upload in quite a bit. Have been streaming here and there, but haven't really been able to upload to for you guys. Um, I know we had um, two others play out. Two other players come out for the team builders. Didn't think they were that great. Well, obviously Daniel's good for me for a kicker, so I'm happy about that. But it wasn't good enough to get a gameplay for you guys. You know what I'm saying? But this for sure is so we're gonna go ahead check out some things with the team check out the technically speaking three new players that we got for the raiders theme team and then obviously get you guys gameplay all right all right joker fam so first up the new player that we got for the team team builders there we go one of the new players at least colt miller colt miller comes in at six foot eight 96 strength 93 awareness 91 pass block 92 pass block power 87 pass block finesse 90 run block 92 run block power with an 86 run block finesse. Now, as you guys can see, I am comparing him to Andrew Whitworth. Now, again, I'm not going to start Colt Miller over him. It should be apparent why I'm not going to do that. But again, Colt Miller is not bad. But again, well, I don't even notice it too much because apparently my own line is trash across the boards because they just let everybody in. But again, Colt Miller, not bad. But again, like I said, he's not going to start over. And I'm not going to really get into the stats. But as you guys can see, we have Daniel Carlson right here. Obviously, we went ahead through focus kicker on him. I think he has 96 kick power, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Yeah, 96 kick power. So I'm very happy about that. Got more range, more range than Matt Prater does. So, hey, I'll take it. And now, Joker fam, the man of the hour, new gridiron guardian, Max Crosby. Very happy he finally got an upgrade. Definitely, for sure, well deserved. Now, Max Crosby on our team is 99 overall. Comes in at six foot five, speed 97 speed as a bruh, as a left end. What? Oh, that's that's nasty. That's nasty. But anyways, 97 speed, 99 acceleration, 90 strength, 93 tackle, 92 play rec, 99 block shed with a 92 power move with a 90. Eight finesse move honestly there, there's nothing more to say about this card dude dude's an absolute beast honestly and and i think for if you guys know as far as the um ultimate um ultimate legends when they come out um you guys we saw the numbers on the side or whatever there could be some possibility hopefully we can get a how how we long i I doubt it, but it, it's a chance. You know what I'm saying? And if we get a Howie Long and Max Crosby on both sides, bruh. Oh, man. Pass rush is going to be fun, for sure. But anyways, back to Max Crosby. Max Crosby is an absolute beast. Again, good speed, good finesse move. And obviously, he's, he's the block shedder, but he has 99 block shed. So he reaches everything across the board. No complaints from this card. So, Joker fam, as it is, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the team just because we haven't shown off the team in quite a bit. Like I said, I haven't uploaded for quite some time, but now we got some content to get out to you guys. So, we're, when Ultimate Legends come out, we're we going to be knocking out content quick. But either way, man, this, as you guys can see, the O-line hasn't changed. Um, Waller, we still got Waller, Carlson Palmer. Er everything is essentially the same from when we did Marcus Allen's gameplay. But we have made a change to the abilities. Now... I have been playing some head-to-heads here and there, and I'm noticing that, like, receivers are getting just wide open regardless of not having no abilities, like nothing on them. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try this out, at least for one of my receivers, which I decided to try it out on Devin Hester. Now, Devin Hester, I originally put 
matchup nightmare on him instead of, I believe he had mid-out elite before. But keep in mind, guys, matchup nightmare is a very, very good ability versus if you were to use deep out elite. Now, again, <clears throat> in my past gameplays that I have shown to you guys of whether it's Jerry Rice or for the Jets theme team, Brandon Marshall, or for the Dolphins theme team, Brandon Marshall, whatever. You guys have seen me utilize deep out elite on streak routes, and it gets very, very glitchy. Now, here's the thing. That does not proc all the time. For whatever reason, I do not know why, but it does not proc all the time. But Matchup Nightmare still procs on every single catch. So you still have a chance to get those mossing animations that you would with deep out elite, but without it being so... I guess unpredictable of when it happens with matchup nightmare it's going to proc every single time so it gives you more of a chance of going up for those and getting those animation jumps again when you come down with the ball it's probably not it, you could it, it's it's kind of up in the air but you do give your chance you do give yourself a chance to get into that animation to get those mossing animations for sure so matchup nightmare i had it on Hester for a short time, but I took it off because, it's, again, I don't utilize Hester in that way where he needs matchup nightmare. Simply because, as you guys know, with Jerry Rice, he's six foot two. He'll go up and get the ball. Randy Moss, when he gets a new card, I'll probably put matchup nightmare on him. Obviously, because he's six foot four. Brandon Marshall, same thing. But obviously, Devin Hester being five foot eleven. I don't really trust him going up to get picks like that. You know what I'm saying? So we went ahead, took the ability off. He plays just fine without it, so I'm cool with that. Um, as it is for the two AP that we have free, I just went ahead and threw Leapfrog on Marcus Allen and Cordell Patterson. The only reason I'm using Leapfrog instead of something like Jukebox, Jukebox is two AP for Marcus Allen, so I'm not doing that, obviously. And it's one AP for Cordell Patterson, but again, I, I was just like, you know what? Let me just have some fun you know, screw it. I'll just throw Leapfrog on. It'll probably do the same thing anyways. But <clears throat> either way, that, that's where we put our 2AP at. Um, Waller still has Matchup Nightmare. Carson Palmer has Pocket Deadeye, Hot Rock Master, Pass Lead Elite. And yeah, that's it for the offense. Now, defensively, as far as our abilities go, we went ahead and put, we have Zone Hawk on Ronnie Lott. Max Crosby for this gameplay, we're going to put Edge Threat on him and Unpredictable. Now, again, I don't think he needs any of the um, run stopping abilities, I, I think it would just be fine. He has 99 blocks yet, so we shouldn't have too much of an issue with it, but I just wanna see how he is in the pass rush. Obviously, people are gonna be passing way more in this game than they are going to be running the ball. So, I just wanna see how well edge threat and unpredictable work, okay? So that's gonna be the focus of this gameplay. Unless he gets double teamed, then obviously there's nothing we can do about that. Now, <clears throat> we did went ahead and made another pickup we picked up Patrick Sertan. Now, to replace him, we had Bobby McCain for the Dolphins theme team. Bobby McCain didn't play bad, but his man coverage is lacking, obviously. He's his own cover corner. He only had 91 man coverage. So I was like, you know what? I got the coins. Screw it. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Patrick Sertan. So that's what we did. We have Acrobat on him. Mom Humphreys has Acrobat. Ted Hendricks has Acrobat. Warren Sapp has inside stuff. Taylor Mays, Acrobat. And that oh cam cheshire has acrobat and jack tatum just has zone hawk and that's it for this gameplay too we're gonna have um as far as our d line is concerned obviously sap's gonna be the d tackle left end's gonna be max crosby richard seymour it's gonna be our right end. but either way joker fam as you guys can see we are currently sitting at 52 out of 50 for the raiders theme team now we could obviously put two more fillers in but as it is right now don't feel it's not necessary to do but I do hope we get other um, DBs so we can get our no-fly zone being mainly Raiders. You know what I'm saying? I want to go back to that. Um, I'll, hopefully, we get Rod Woodson soon. It probably going to be in UL. If we get Namdi, that would be amazing. But I don't know, man. I I feel like he he would have been dropped by now. But I'm a, I'm a hold I'm a hold that off just because he the because he did play for the Eagles for quite some time, too. So they might, you know, give him a card for when when they want to put out an Eagles corner. They might give him that then. Who knows? But I do hope we get a Namdi Asamoah. Rod Woodson, he's, he's got to be coming to the game soon as a UL. There's, there's just no two ways around that. So we're going to get back. We're going to get no-fly zone back to being 
Raiders only type thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and I can't wait for that to happen. But as it is, we're going to go ahead, jump to a gameplay. Let's see how many sacks Max Crosby can get. Hopefully the double teaming won't be too much of an issue. But let's find out and see how these abilities work too. All right? See how boys in there. All right, Joker fam. So we found ourselves a game. The go Raider boys right there. And we got Cordell Patterson, Raiders theme team versus Raiders theme team. Hey, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, Joker fam. So starting out on defense first, exactly what we want. He's got Derrick Henry at quarterback, of course. Uh, pass leader, lead, wide receiver, outside apprentice. He's got leapfrog, of course, tight end. All right. So he just has a way to manipulate a lot of his routes, but that's really about it. <clears throat> okay. No. Oh, my God. All right. All right, so our, our opponent is playing really weird. He went for two. Obviously didn't get it. Try to kick an onside kick. Didn't get that either. So, tons of fun for sure. All right, see what we can do here. Could have his touchdown here. Let's see. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, Palmer. Way to drop it in there, baby. All right, Joker fam. So, we're back on no fly zone, man. We answered back pretty quickly on offense. Let's see if we could um, lock up on defense. Uh, forgot what he was running on this. I don't know if he had something over top or not, though. I'm not worried about nothing underneath, really. Okay. I just, I don't know where to put this zone drop at so Tatum could jump this. All right. I put it back to 15. Hopefully, that doesn't happen again. Oh, Cam's going to get beat, isn't he? Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. All right, so we got to figure out what we need to do on no-fly zone for sure. But for right now, let's go ahead and answer back as quickly oh, as possible. Brother, this guy stinks! I ain't going to lie. I clicked the wrong button. I clicked the wrong button. Oh, man. All right, Joker fam. Let's lock in, man. I... Just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So I was trying to hit last time. Oh, uh, man. I'm so disappointed in myself. I really messed that up. Oh, well. All right, Joker fam. Fourth and 12. I'm just going to go ahead and go for this. Just because got that shot and gun activated. See everything, bro. So you already know what time it is. See if we can dial up a dot here. Depending on what his user does, though. Yeah, we got that. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what we got. Cover four. Nothing over top. What's it? Hello? Please? 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 And he dropped them back last second. But that's all right, though. Let's go, Wall. Way to go up there and grab it. Come on, baby. All right, Joker fam. Back on no fly zone, dog. Hopefully, we can just find a way to lock this stuff up, man. I'll take that. Let's go. Shop. I will right, we'll play underneath. Yeah, we'll play cloud flats on this. I'm all over that. Oh my god. I'm just sending people. I don't know what Max Crosby's doing either. Like, how does he have that much time? I, I really, I'm going to have to go, when I'm editing this, I'm going to have to look at that. I want to see what Max Crosby's doing out here. Because that's too much time in the pocket. He's got unpredictable and uh, edge threat. And he's just getting blocked. Oh, God. All right, Joker fam. So, that's the second time he's beat me over the top with Jerry Rice. So, we're just going to go ahead and just start playing that. And, or not playing it, but we'll um, leave a safety over there. But I'm not going to lie. I'm not seeing Crosby really do much of anything right now. Like, I don't know if he is getting double teamed or not, but he's really just not doing much. Mm. 
Oof. All right, Joker Prime, so we're in the second half right now. Um, we're just looking to do what we can at this point. Put some more points on the board. Hopefully, we can lock up on defense sooner rather than later. We'll take that. I'll take that, Mark Seven. Yes, sir. Stop. EA backflip. All right, Joker Fam. So, back on no-fly zone. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep that safety over top. Uh, that, that, uh, hopefully that will be fine. Hot air. Hot air. Sap has gotten in the backfield before, bro. That's crazy. All Sap has on him is um inside stuff, and that's it. It's one person on him. It's one person on Crosby, and he's still just getting blocked. Thank you. Way to knock it out, Jack Tatum. Thank you. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Crosby. He's getting double teamed. Oh, he fought through it this time. Thank you. Crosby, thank you. Thank you. He actually propped that time. Oh, my God. I really don't understand these abilities, dog. I really don't. Like, I saw Crosby getting blocked by one person, and the ability wasn't procking. But it propped there, and he got blocked by two people. I don't know how I got through that. Oh my god, I don't know how I got through all that. Hey, we'll take it though. Alright, Joker fam. Back on no fly zone. Locked up last play. Or last drive, I should say, but let's see if we can do it again. Crosby, I need you to get off some blocks though, man. <sighs> Jesus, man. How is Rice getting this open? Humphreys, that's you, man. Like, come on, bro. You know, maybe that's my fault. Because I should know better that apparently none of my guys are going to play good man coverage. So I, I guess part of that has to, has to fall on me. Oh, he's dead. Thank you. Tatum, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Jack. Let's go, Jack. I'll take that. I'll take that. Good return. I'll take that. Let's get it. All right. So let's see what we got here. See a one-on-one -on -one here with Lot. We should be good on that, right? One on one. Let's go, Rice. His rat's gonna beat me over top. Mine's gonna do the same thing, baby. Let's go. All right. Hey, right back at it again. Oh Lord. This guy's gonna try to chew the clock out. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. Play the purples. Hopefully that'll take away the short routes. I'll play over top, cover this rice, because I know he's going over top with him. No, he's not. We'll take everything else, though. I cannot... How How am I throwing inaccurate passes, and I can't hit Waller wide open, but he hits that? Like, are you serious? All right, here comes another pass. Hopefully we can lock this up right here. I, I don't think he'll go over top with rice. No, he won't. He's not. Oh my God! Where, where am I? Why my purple is not doing? If he rolls out, he rolls out. There we go, Crosby. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play underneath. Spy sap. Keep these dudes in purples. Uh. Yeah, we'll keep everything else the same there. Rice beat me. Oh, my God. All right, Joker fam. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it right there, man. Very good game, bro. Um, as you guys know, man, I'll post my wins. I'll post my losses. It don't really make much of a difference to me. Because at the end of the day, man, you guys got to see gameplay like this. I mean, as fun as it would be to show you guys, you know, Max Crosby with five sacks, that's not, that's not realistic. You know what I'm saying? That's not the reality of it. You're going to get games like that. You know what I'm saying? Um... I probably looked down when I was on defense a few times here and there. I looked down and I saw Max Crosby on one person. One person blocking him, nothing was procking. He got, I think he procked more off of double, um, off of double teams than he did when it was just one person blocking him, which to me doesn't make sense, like at all. But again, we we've known for a long time edge threat is pretty bad. Which is why a lot of people, you know, run unpredictable. 
I put unpredictable on him. Also, I, I just didn't, I didn't get what I thought I should have gotten out of Max Crosby. I mean, he, hell, like I mean, don't get me wrong, Max Crosby, he did have a good play on fourth down for us, made a big time stop, kept, and we scored off of that too. But he had no sacks. Warren Sapp had a sack before Crosby did. That to me, that shouldn't be, and he passed quite a bit, and he had plenty of time in the pocket. There was this one play that he had a lot. Of, we we had him boxed up. He had a lot of time in the pocket. Crosby, what nothing was procking at all. So, I mean, th- this is why I don't really focus on putting abilities on D linemen too much, especially stuff like edge threat. Even if it is only two AP, like it- it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? I would much rather have split that two AP into two unpredictables and call it a day if I'm going to put anything on my D line or probably put no outsiders on him or so- something that's going to be more useful consistently. If I if I had to say that, because if I had no outsiders on him, a lot of those stretch plays that he was running towards the end, they probably would have gotten blown up. That would be more like useful to me and more consistent than edge strand and unpredictable. So, you know, like I said, guys, this this is the type of games that I'm, and, and again, he could go off. He might get you. You got you guys might run big nickel or something. You know, maybe that will help him get off of blocks more. But. At the end of the day, you guys can go back and look at it. Crosby, he was had one person blocking him a good amount of time. No abilities on his O line. Still wasn't getting sheds. He got one, in my opinion, one good shed. And that was it. One good shed. And that was on that fourth down play. Other than that, he was getting pretty boxed up. So, you know, again, you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on Max Crosby in the comment section below. You guys let me know. What abilities are you planning on using on him? Because, you know, maybe I just didn't put the right abilities on him. Maybe I didn't utilize him as he's supposed to be utilized, I guess. You know, maybe he works better in blitzes or whatever. I don't know. Because for me, Khalil Mack, he gets off. He gets awful blocks. Sitting three. You know what I'm saying? Like I sat. He's the slowest D lineman I got. He got a sack on Derrick Henry. Max Crosby with edge threat and unpredictable with 97 speed didn't get not one sack. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on that. You guys let me know if you are going to pick up Max Crosby, which I'm pretty sure you guys are. You guys let me know what abilities you guys are planning on running on him. But if you guys enjoyed that video, man, if you guys enjoyed that gameplay, man, make sure you guys drop some laughs on that like button. Subscribe to the channel, Joker family support. Always means a lot. Till next one, guys. Peace.